What is going on YouTube? Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Today, we've got a video talking about the nine worst items in Smite. There's going to be in no particular order, but it's going to be the nine. worst items. And then we're going to be talking about how I'd buff them, how I would maybe rework them to make them a little bit better. But yeah, nine. worst items, no particular order. Let's go. First item to talk about. Stone of Binding. They've kind of gotten rid of bridge items altogether. There's no other tier twos in the game other than Stone of Binding. And it's let Stone of Binding in this weird kind of position of not good enough to want to rush it, but not bad enough that it's like absolutely useless. So it's in this weird middle ground. I don't think it really needs that much. I think either like 10 HP 5, maybe 15 HP 5, and then, or sorry, or not and, or kick the magical and physical protect protections by 10. I think you get rid of the physical and just make it magical and then bump it to like 15, maybe 20 to make it more of like a guardian dive item instead of a setup for whoever. I think you make it more just concentrated on magicals or maybe just make it only physicals or maybe just make it 15 of each. The problem is if at 15, you're almost doing true damage against a lot of physical gods because of how physical and magical defense scale. So it kind of becomes uneven. Maybe kick magical up to 15, keep physical at 10, something like that. But I think as is with the current stats, I don't think it's very good. Next up is Ikaval. 30% attack speed, 35 power, and every successful basic attack increases your power by 10 and reduces the opponent's physical at or attack speed by 7% for 5 seconds, max 3 stacks. So it's up to 30 power for you and up to 21% attack speed lost for your boxing opponent. I think the biggest problem with this one is just the cost. I think 2450 for what it's bringing you is it's just too expensive because this item drops off quickly. I think it is fine early game, but if you consider the cost of the other spike items in adc devs glove is 2300 xc is 2200 some of the crit items are only 2400 2500 ikaval is just too expensive at 2450 there's also no other starter you can really pair with it that makes it really good if you go cowl into ikaval you run into you're, you're gonna get out sustained or you're gonna get out war of attrition and just lose all your mp5 and then if you go cowl you're gonna be weirdly lacking attack speed and then not enough lifesteal also and then obviously if you go gilded you'll have literally no sustain and then you'll still be getting kind of out traded so i think ikaval just needs cost reduction maybe 2300 2300 50 to make it be able to contest with devs because that 100 150 gold actually matters a lot in adc when you're trying to get to just full build or full items as quick as possible it allows you to back a wave earlier and then get out and get pressure back onto the enemy so a uh, little cost reduction for ikaval next up ansile my vote for the worst item in all of smite 35 power 30 magical protections 10 cooldown reduction and then a silent shockwave for 30 units around you for one second for 2,250 gold. As you can see, the biggest problem with this item is very bad stats for a very, very expensive item. It used to be 2K gold. Uh, this might not be completely correct, but it used to be 2K gold and I think 50 power, 30 protections and 10 cooldown. It's lost 15 power and it's gained 250 gold. I think with its current cost, I think it'd be a really good idea to just even lower the protections down a little bit more, maybe 25, and then move the item all the way down to about 2K. It's just way too expensive. Way, way, way too expensive. And I don't think it'll be ever bought at this current. Maybe they're planning on reworking it or, or changing it completely in season 10. But yeah, 2250 for the current stats, very, very bad. Next up on the list, Tyrannical Plate Helm, 70 power, 30 physical prots, 100 health, 20 CCR, and then buffing lane minions, health, and attack speed. And then when they die, you get power from it. Realistically, this item just doesn't have a place in Smite. Minions are just kind of fodder for the entire team until, I mean, I guess level like five up until level five they might not be fodder they might be a little bit stronger than that they might be something you have to actually worry about but once level five hits minions are basically fodder and that's when you're finishing this item the only lane it would ever be bought in a solo lane the gods that would be buying it are gods that can play around their wave like healers but healers have other items that they need more they either need power items or they need cooldown or they need protections to be able to live and this item is kind of all that but just not very good and then it just does not scale very well for a pretty decent price tag of 2400 it never really makes sense if i was to keep this item in the game i would try making it just a super cheap item to give you some semblance of early game of like a, a bridge item i know they don't really like bridge items anymore but keeping it something like maybe 2k gold 50 power 30 prots, 100 health, 20 CCR, and then lower the health and attack speed you get from it down to like 20, 15. Just to make it so it's a little bit of a, of a good early game item. The only other option is to make it really good late game and then make it a sieging item or maybe you can make it take a reduced damage from mage abilities so that mages can't just insta-clear the, the wave. 
which is not a bad idea either but i think either way i don't think it, it it will either be op if it if it's mitigations of magical damage or it would be really really bad with the 2k gold and worse stats but currently it's not really bought at all so any type of test with it i think i'd be down for next up bobble i'm pretty sure this is people's other vote for the most worthless item in all of smite 45 physical power or 70 magical power 20 mp5 10 percent cooldown and then your cooldown reduction cap is increased from 40 to 50 percent your physical and magical protections are reduced by 10 percent and your healing output is increased or decreased by 20 percent i think the downsides of this items could just be removed at this point and just keep it i think the biggest problem is 2700 gold makes it just too expensive for these weird stats you're going to be getting no god is really going to want more cooldown and then losing protections and healing most of the time you're going to want like a reaver or some pen elsewhere and as fix as bobble doesn't really fit a niche of a mage and the only gods that would really want more cooldown are like healers or utility gods and then they're losing magical or physical protections or healing whichever one they are so i think they could try to get rid of the magical and physical protection reduction completely make it something that could be bought there or getting rid of the healing to make it a healing item for healers or for more utility type characters but yeah Spins fixes bobble currently i don't think it's very good and the cost could also maybe use a reduction maybe just down to 2500 and keep all the negatives currently not good next up is rage 35 power 30 percent crit chance for 2500 gold and then kills or assists give you a stack up to five stacks for an extra 15 percent crit chance total adding your crit chance all the way up to 45 percent the problem with rage is it's just too expensive the upside of this item is you're you're gonna need less crit items building with it but if you go this item and shadow steel your crits are not going to be doing much damage if you go this one and wind demon your crits are going to have really no utility no anti-heal and they're not going to be doing that much damage either and if you go rage and deathbringer you're going to be having no attack speed i think rage is a bit outdated realistically the only thing you could do is make this item just dumb cheap 22 2300 gold with 30 power 30 percent crit chance and then maybe it becomes a a quick item that you get on but the problem is gods like mercury still build this item it's kind of fallen out of meta completely as an adc item it's mostly just a mercury item now i'd be down for just almost a complete rework on this item make it something else make it do something else give it some crit some power maybe toss some i don't know maybe pen on the item or some maybe attack speed like I, I don't know but currently the item is only good on mercury and every other god doesn't use it at all next up is void shield and i'm sure if you watch any solo laner they'll talk about how terrible this item is currently 2600 gold for 20 power 35 physical protection 150 health and then enemy gods within 55 units have their physical protection reduced by 15 percent it is very 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 poor stats 20 power, 35 prods, 150 health. Very, very bad. Personally, I think this item just needs extra stats. I know you're worried about like the double warrior meta, tank meta kind of running it down, but the item just kind of makes no sense without having some sort of stats for the price tag. Even if you want to kick the price tag up a little bit, make it a, a really late game item, like a sixth item for some gods, 2,800 gold, give it like 60 physical protection, something like that. But it's in this weird position of being good passive, useless stats and very very expensive the only time it's ever really worth is if you're diving with another warrior and you just need that extra damage for both of you but even then there's just better options you can just go glad to make your abilities do more berserkers to be a little tankier do a little bit more damage but yeah void bad item need some changes somewhere i had a hard time coming up with the last two items so i chose two items that i think could just use small buffs but i don't think they're that bad shifter shield is 2350 for 25 prots 25 power and then while over 75% health, you gain 25 power. And while under 75% health, you gain 40 protections, both physical and magical. So I really think this item is fine. I think the problem is it's hard to control when you're using the, the power and when you're using the protections. I think a very slight cost decrease to like 2300, maybe 2250 puts it into a really strong spot where it's an item you can actually rush if you wanted to early or you can build it second and it feels pretty good i still think it's an okay item on gods like naja where you can kind of control the the heal heal and where you are where the health is or gods like thanatos stuff like that but yeah i understand why people don't like it but i do think it's close to being a strong item and i think it just needs a little cost reduction and then lastly on the list like i said not official order or anything atalanta's bow 2500 gold for 30 power 20 attack speed 10 life steal 20 percent crit chance and then a kill and assist, you get Atalanta's agility for 10 seconds, your movement speed by 20%, and the movement penalty for attacking, backpedaling, and strafing by 30%. This item is just too many, like, bad stats. 30 power is not good. 20% attack speed is not good. 10% life steal is not good. 20% crit, that's fine. 
but it's just giving you not enough of anything and it's giving you just a little bit of everything and i think makes it just a bad spike if you were looking to build in this item you'd be building it where you already have lifesteal like if you already have dev gloves the lifesteal on this item is just kind of useless or you're going to be already capped on attack speed and you're not going to be really making much use of the 20 percent or the 30 power is just way too low and useless or you don't have any other crit chance anywhere else so the 20 percent crit chance is just not needed i think they should either remove the crit chance or remove the physical lifesteal and actually buff up the power and then the other stat a little bit more so if they got rid of crit chance give the lifesteal up to 20 and then put the power up to 40 and i think it puts it into a spot where it actually feels good to build it the other thing you do is just get rid of the lifesteal completely and just give it like 40 power 45 power and then just keep the everything else as is but Having it with these weird stats of jack of all trades, master of none, I think is just bad for an ADC item. It never really spikes very well, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you guys for watching. Like it if you did it. Like the video. Subscribe also so you guys can see the next videos coming out. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. See you guys again next time. Peace.